Hi everyone, it's Lonnie and Ops. We're here today to share with you an altered clock that I just completed. Um, I was so inspired when I saw this at my Michaels that I knew I had to have it and um, and do something with it right away. It's kind of one of those things where it just like sparks your like inspiration and mojo and you just run home and do it, right? So very rare does that happen, but when I saw these, I knew I had to do something. So. I saw this at my Michaels. It's brand new. Well, maybe not too new. The date back here says March, but um, it's the first time I'm seeing it, and I just fell in love with it. Look how tiny it is compared to the palm of my hand. It's so stinking adorable. So I use, obviously, the Almanac paper pad. I don't use it often because I hoard this paper like nobody's business, and um, I knew that because it was for Aubrey that it's going to stay with us, and I didn't mind breaking into it. So, uh, without further ado, I'm just going to show you the clock. There it is. Look at how tiny she is. Isn't that so adorable? I absolutely love it. It's like a little baby clock. And I just fussy cut a bunch of the pattern, you know, pattern paper and the images from them. And some of the words, special moments with you. And then this side, love, play, laugh, dream. I really love this little, um, t uh, what are they, stamped images, stamp images. And this is royal with a crown. I absolutely love this little thing right here. And it just says, if I could go back in time, I would not change anything. And, of course, it's for my baby girl. And, um... I distressed all the edges of the cut pieces um, and added some acrylic paint to the edges of it to distress it even more. This is a metal charm and I just added some gesso and rubbed off the excess then added some acrylic paint and rubbed off the excess just kind of to tone down um, the shininess of the metal. And I love the music note paper in the background and the clock image here. Little remember flag from one of the tickets on the paper. And um, fussy cut flowers. And then these roses, mini tiny roses, are from I Am Roses. And I painted the pink ones with um, this ballet pink, folk art paint. And... Um, I tried to use some glimmer mist, but it was just kind of wetting the roses too much and like distorting the shape. So um, I just kind of dry brushed like some some of the like um, glimmer on on the edges, like on the top edges, as opposed to dunking the whole rose inside. And then um, in the inside, you can kind of see the piano paper back there. So cute. I just love it. The size alone just makes it like so adorable. And um, around this kind of metal piece in the handle, I just cut the very narrow measuring tape paper strip and then um, just a little fussy cut butterfly at the end of it. And it's just loosely wrapped around there. It moves. And just a tip. Um, well, maybe most of you don't need it, but uh, for me, it was kind of a learning experience on how to adhere the paper onto like a round kind of form or any kind of shape for that matter. Um, what I did was I put Mod Podge on the metal part of the bell and then the paper I just damped it with a spritz of water and it just made the paper more pliable and like to form it around anything. And so that's what I did and then just quickly um, heat set it with my heat gun and then that was that and I tucked the excess paper underneath the bell. And I think it turned out pretty good. I mean, it does have a little, you know, a couple folds in there. But I think it just adds to the, you know, character um, of the distressed look. So um, that's about it, you guys. It's nothing too, too major. But I just think it's so adorable. And I'm happy that I made it for OBS to kind of, um, you know, kind of treasure and little keepsake for her. And I hope you all like it and have a great rest of your day. Thank you so much for watching and we'll catch you in the next video. Bye.